Guys, can you believe that I found this picture actually in the street? Yes, I did. And now this free picture that I found as a garbage in the street gonna be my part of the background. Anyway, I wanna show you how I feel sometimes shitty and I can't feel and I can't transform myself to feeling good. And we're gonna be using Derma Roller. This always makes me feel so good. I am gonna be using gigantic size 0.75, which is great for wrinkles. So you if you have wrinkles, fine lines, texture, when I feel better, when I feel younger, and you have enough pain that you're like, enough of having this pain, I'm good. I wanna feel good, I wanna be confident, I don't wanna be afraid of camera when I have selfish, sexy, and, and my husband is gonna say, or my boyfriend, or whoever is gonna say, oh my god, you look so good, right? I don't want to paint anymore so let's do derma rolling but together with derma rolling i'm gonna start doing it right away guys i'm gonna tell you something something um i just turned 36 years old years young wherever and um i kind of you know come to the point in my life when i'm like okay so what do i like what is the life about what's going on what's the question where should i go which direction i should take and sometimes you just start questioning yourself right just like what is life about using lidocaine to numb my skin before using derma roller for a couple of minutes mainly gonna use on my cheeks i kind of feel saggy so if you have sagginess over here in your cheeks uh dermarol go grab dermarol and dermarol with me let's do this together by the way this video is not about dermarol it's about 36 life lessons oh let's do this okay lesson number one that i learned in 35 years i'm still thinking i'm 35 i'm 36 36 lessons and here's lesson number one that I learned. Lesson number one and this doesn't have a sequence wherever I just wrote down everything what I learned in 36 years. So I wish I actually watched this video when I was like 19 or 20 years old. It has some wisdom in it. So learn to let go, let go of everything, absolutely everything. When you detach from absolutely anything, anybody, anywhere, no place, no time, nobody, nothing. It's amazing how light and feel and like and light and free you start feeling. I am still working on that, but I'm realizing when I let go, let go of special expectations. When you let go of everything, expectations of people, surrender and don't try, don't have any expectations. Let go everything, everybody, no matter what, you're like, that's okay. Maybe at that moment it can be a little bit uncomfortable and painful, but eventually in life you realize that this happened for you for a reason. Number two, skip morning face wash. Guys, come on, skip morning face wash if you want to have a great skin. And I forgot to disinfect the maroon, and now I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so I'm disinfecting with this. I'm gonna talk about that later, but this is something incredible works better than alcohol and removes more bacterials and it's way more natural than um alcohol so this is what i'm doing we're gonna wait until this is gonna get disinfected and meanwhile we're waiting for the nami cream to kick in spend more time alone i started spending more time alone and i started learning about me more and more and more like really with myself with my thoughts when you're always with the family with the people on the go 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 at work do 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 and you don't really have you time then you just become like a robot like i need my time i come back to miami with no traveling for a week or two or three even though i love adventure i love traveling i just got back from mexico a week maldives a week uh next week i'm going to california but right now i'm in miami and this time actually it just makes me feel good i'm learning i'm reading books i'm just spending time alone i went to the beach three times do grounding connect to nature like oh my god spending time with myself alone sometimes can be uncomfortable but it makes me feel so good i love being with 
myself i'm just alone right now you actually right now going to be watching this in the future but at right now at, at this moment right now i'm just alone my dog is there i kick her out of the room but just my lights just my mirror and just the camera nobody's here actually right now at this moment nobody's here you're gonna be watching this later but right now over here in my room nobody's there nobody nobody i love it uh connect to the nature i don't know if it's just me not nature person whatever works for you but nature just makes me feel nature orgasmic okay it's time to remove the lidocaine i feel is kicking in so i'm removing lidocaine i actually did it just like that I'm gonna be only using Zenti 5 Dermarola over here on my like lower part of the face. I don't wanna use on my forehead. I'm not gonna lie, I have a um, dye spot right now on my forehead. That's why it's not moving as you see, so I don't need microneedling there. Unless for the pores, but the size maybe it's a little bit too big for the pores to be, you know. Uh, and for the pores, actually, it's better 0 0.25. Okay, so I'm disinfecting the skin as well. Feel numb it's good so I'm applying this on the face and I look like Santa Claus ho 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 Merry Christmas ho 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 this is how I make myself feel better I feel so good okay so you don't want to really rub this in but, but you want to you know, like gently tap it on and kind of wait until it's gonna soak in i did double wash uh before this so you see it soaks in really fast this means i have some bacteria on the skin if this doesn't soak that fast that's mean you do not have bacteria and what do you want to do with the gentle not regular towel but with the face towel this is for example face towel from Elemis you know guys Elemis so anyway you want to wipe with some like real face towel not like random towel and always wipe on the side so this is how disinfecting this product is launching very soon i'm gonna make another video and explain a little bit more in detail but it's something gonna be like wow you guys been asking uh, alcohol replacement that's gonna be alcohol replacement that has no alcohol at all it has amazing ingredient with the oxygen Shh. all right we are going to start the rolling. you see this is not actually with much bacteria okay just remove the, the foam all right, so number five, connect to the nature. And for me, what actually really, really helps is reading book. To force a read a book, it takes really a lot of effort for me, but I'm with ADHD, I don't know about you, but focusing on something just one, I can't. I just can't. Like, you imagine ADHD, I have to actually film and talk about totally different thing. I'm actually doing the Marola, right? But I'm talking about 36 life lessons. Like I always have to multitask. So read at least one book a month. Right now I just finished Business Made Simple by Donald Miller book and I'm reading almost also done on Fuck Your Boundaries. Really, really great book. All right, the next one, uh, Wim Hof Deep Breathing. Guys, I've been doing Wim Hof right now for actually a little bit over a year. Not all the time, every day, but lately for the last couple of weeks been you doing every single day. Oxygen, you know, for example, you are tired, not because you have a lack of sleep. You are tired because you have a lack of oxygen. When you do Wim Hof Breathing, just Google Wim Hof or on YouTube, check uh, Wim Hof Deep Breathing. He has incredible videos how Breathing actually makes his immunity so, so strong. Wim Hof is incredible. Number nine, what is that? You don't have to give to get. You just don't have to give to get, you can just get. Uh, so I started asking myself, this came just recently, like when I hit 36, what's my priority right now? What's my priority today? Like, what is my priority? Because my head always, in my body and my mind when I run to 120,000 direction and do 20 things at once like what's my priority even I asked myself this question today what's my priority in business right now 
I want to connect to my subscribers. I want to start filming more YouTube videos. I want to help people more. That's my priority, even though I have like another like 20 emails to answer and answer questions on Instagram and film uh, TikTok and film Instagram and talk to designer and talk to my customer service department and stuff like this. But what's my priority? Today, I want to connect to my followers, my subscribers, my viewers. I want to help. I want to feel like a family. I want them to feel like we are a family over here. Um, Next one, what's my biggest need right now? What is my biggest need at this moment right now in my life? What do I need? I need love, I need connection to you guys. Take two minutes, this is what my coach told me. Constantly remind yourself every single morning, take two minutes out of your life and every single day, ask yourself, who am I and what makes me happy? What really makes me happy? 50% of skincare and 50% of what we eat. There's a formula, there's a secret for a healthy skin. Derma rolling, cream after that is just 50% of your skin's health. Another 50. What you eat and what you drink. I'm drinking hibiscus tea. Makeup does not cause acne. No, 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 no. Rosacea, it is curable. Your dermatologist is probably gonna say, rosacea is not curable. Listen to me, I never use any prescription and I cured rosacea. Probably for rosacea, we'll say 90% if what you eat and 10% skincare. 100% mm -hmm. natural is not always the best. Not always, but most of the time. Energy is everything. You can actually learn how to use microneedling tools at the home. You don't have to go to institution. Just watch my videos. You have to address childhood traumas if you want to really, really heal. Feedback is judgment. Feed forward is love. You are not always right. Not always. Okay, going last three times really, really hard like this up. Make sure that you're lifting your skin. I mean, you're the Marola, you can't, you can't really lift your skin. You see when I'm smiling those a little bit here, so here on this spot, sometimes it's okay. Actually, this is not from these rules, but sometimes it's okay to do this. Even though I always say, ah, do this, lift, lift, lift. But where you have a lot of, you see over here? I mean, it's not a lot. I know some people are gonna be like, Jenny, you don't have wrinkles. Why is it you have wrinkles? You don't need a marrona, no, no, no. You know, whatever you say, yeah, it's true, it's true. But what I need to do, what I need to do, it's my stuff, it's my business. Thanks for watching anyway. I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just trying to say my thing is my thing and your thing is your thing. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Rule well, number one in my life, learn to let go and that's okay. It makes me feel so peaceful. Listen more and talk less. That's why God gave us just one mouth and two ears. Let me know down below if you agree and please subscribe if you haven't, that helps me a lot. Click the red button, subscribe right now. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm okay right now. What I'm gonna be doing, actually again, I'm gonna put the foamy over here to disinfect, gonna leave like this over the night. And I'm actually jumping into the serums. Of course, mine, serum organic, plant-based, derived, really great plums the skin, hyaluronic acid serum, peptide serum is firming the skin. I love those together like crazy. My favorite serum to be used after my grow needling. Super safe, non-irritating, gives incredible results, plumps your skin, and make sure you hydrate your skin after microneedling. There's no way, there's no way that you will skip hydration because after microneedling evaporates and you need to actually hydrate your skin like crazy. Keep your hair oily for a week if you wanna grow longer hair. I know it's nasty, but it works actually, try it. Try for a couple of months, oily hair as long as possible. Don't forget your boundaries. Don't forget your boundaries. Being selfish, it's okay. It's good. Mm -hmm. You gotta move at least 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes a day, every day. No matter what, move. Did you know that you can heal anything? Anything? People told me when I had Hashimoto's, they say you can't heal. Doctors told me you can't heal. I had diabetes, they told me you can't heal. I had acne, they told me you can't heal. I had rosacea, they told me I can't heal. I healed everything. You can. Fat is not bad. We need fat, peptides, you know. We need 
fat in order to have a healthy nervous system. Why everybody on anxiety meds, depression pills and stuff like this and eating lean meat? Think about it. Our brain made of fat. 70% of brain is made of fat. Did you know that? Let me know down in the comment below if you didn't. Mm -hmm. Avoid EMF, electromagnetical fields. I even have the device actually that measures how bad it is, for example. So you see my MacBook, camera is nothing, but my MacBook in the front of me is EMF. The device is screaming, this mean EMF. And being between all these big lights, it's not healthy for me, but I'm doing that for you guys. So make sure, do your research about EMF. Something, it's invisible, but something is a little bit not healthy for us. I don't wanna say some words that they don't, will take down my YouTube channel, but just do your own research, okay? Okay. When you judging someone, you're actually judging yourself, and I'm using Superfood Soothing Smoothing Skin Sheet Mask. Don't forget, if you feel that you're judging someone, actually you're judging yourself. Fasting is actually very, very healing. I do intermittent fasting almost every day. That helps me to feel healthier, younger, have more energy. Again, do your own research. You don't have to agree with everything I say, but this is what actually helps. Last uh, month we went to Maldives. We had a health event seminar and Dave Asprey was there and he talked about how fasting is incredible to renew, restore your mitochondria and renew your actually all health, including skin. So fasting is healing. When you buy something, read skincare labels, read ingredients, Google every single ingredient. Rather have just five products, but know exactly what those products contain in the ingredient list. You do that with the food, do that with your skincare products because skincare is a food for your skin. Don't forget to invest in the good water filter. I have Berkey filter. By the way, everything, if I'm mentioning some stuff in this video is gonna be down below in the description box. Invest in the good water filter, it's important. Now, you guys not gonna like that. I know for sure you're not gonna like it. Exfoliate only once a month, maybe max twice a month. Don't over exfoliate your skin, please. Just try it. I'm exfoliating my skin only once or twice versus before I used to exfoliate basically every two, three days, which made me have acne and rosacea and pigmentation and all the crap on my face that I had it. Just not overdo it. But no more often, there is no way, don't do it more often than once a week. No more. Maybe try to train your skin. If you've been using like a lot, try every four days, every five days, every seven days, and every 10 days, and every two weeks, you can't use exfoliating scrubs or acids or whatever that often. That's why 70% of the people have sensitive skin today. Maybe even more, but that's what studies are showing. I believe that's way more. And the last one, the biggest one, 36th one lesson that I learned in my life that I am going to die. Everybody's going to die. You are going to die. We all going to die. Do something. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click that red button, subscribe down below. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. I love you so much. Stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay confident, stay loving. Love yourself, be selfish. I love you. Bye.